the only thing that really drives me out the house is dating women. And then I realized, since I became the most famous man on the planet, that dating women has changed significantly. And like most things in the world, it's all the women's fault. Because now women, when they meet me, they want to meet me, of course, but they feel compelled to somehow try and prove their status to me. And I don't want them to do that. Like, you're a beautiful woman, you're 19, you're 20, you're beautiful. You're, if you were soft-spoken, if you were kind with a good heart and a nice person, maybe funny, cool. That's all I expect of you. I don't expect you to have my kind of money. I'm a 35-year-old man. I don't expect you to have done amazing things and been to a load of places, nothing. I don't expect that. In fact, it's probably the least attractive things a woman can do is to sit there and pretend she's done these things or to have done these things. All the real Gs out here know. When you meet a chick and she's like, I've been all over the world. I've been here, I've been here, I've been here. Any real G sitting there going, oh, for fuck's sake. How many trains? How many, how many threesomes and hostels? Like, no, no man wants that. The most attractive thing a woman can say is, I've never, I've never been in, uh, on holiday. I've never been anywhere. That's what we want to hear. But now I got women who are desperate to somehow, like, prove their status to me. And they're saying the most unattractive shit. And it's a shame, because I know that they don't really mean it. They just don't know any better. So I'm going on a date with a chick and she's like, okay, I'm meeting Top G, he's successful, he's been everywhere, he's done everything, et cetera, et cetera. I better be, you know, I better have done those things. So I'm sitting there with a girl and she's like lying through her teeth. Yeah, I go here and I go there and I've been here. Oh, you've, you've been to Greece? What, what, what part of Greece? Um, uh, I don't remember the town. Like, you haven't even been. Like, why tell me? I, I don't want you to have been to Greece. So why are you lying about going to Greece? Why don't you say, I haven't been anywhere, Andrew. I'm an empty vessel. I barely existed on earth without you. I was sitting at home waiting for the man of my dreams and now I found him. Please, can I just follow you around the world? Can I just let you take me places? I'd never go anywhere with anyone else. Then we can be in love. Why are you gonna f ruin it by lying? The worst thing women do is they flex, now that I'm rich, now that I'm top G, king of the world, they flex other men's stuff. That really blows my mind. So I'll be in the car. We'll go to get in the car, right? Lambo, I'll get in the car. She'll struggle with the door handle. The handle's a bit unusual. She can't work out how to do it. I'll lean across, open the door for her. Why don't you make a comment? She goes, you didn't have to do that. Do what? Well, you didn't have to open the door. You know, I, I know how it works. It's not the first Lambo I've been in. Bitch. You don't have a Lambo. So why are you bragging that you've been in another man's Lambo? You're gonna flex with someone else's stuff? Imagine a man doing that. Imagine a man going, hey, hey, yeah, I've been in a Lamborghini. You have a Lamborghini? No, no, no. I don't have one. That guy does. Like, what's, what's cool about that? They start bragging about, oh yeah, I, I've, been on, I've been on jets. You don't have a jet. You don't even have $1,000 in your bank account. You've never paid taxes. You don't have any money. You're a brokey. By masculine standards, 99% of women, if you were to take away the gender aspect, just look at their finances, the money they make, their mindset, their mentality, their motivation, if you were to look at most things, by masculine standards, the majority of beautiful women are losers. They have no money, they're emotionally fragile, all they care about is attention from Instagram. There's no point in comparing us in the same paradigms. And for you to sit there and brag about the other men's stuff, not only is it pointless, not only does it not make sense, but it's the least attractive thing a woman can do. Like we talk about getting dry. Bro, I, when I sit there, if, I, if a chick gets in my car and goes, I've been in lots of Lambos, I, I will end that date within three minutes. I'll be like, that's really nice to hear. That's really nice to hear. Anyway, something's come up, so I have to drop you off. What's the problem? No, no, no problem. I just want to take you home. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Because it's brutally unattractive. I don't care if you've been in lots of Lambos or not been in lots of Lambos. Don't tell me that. I don't want to hear that shit. Before Andrew transitions to the topic of giving dating advice to women, if you want, you can comment below whether or not you agree with him on wanting a more simple, nice, and sexually inexperienced girl who hasn't done much in her life yet. Because I agree with the part about wanting a simple and kind girl who doesn't have a huge ego because she hasn't had a ton of attention from men yet. But I disagree with the part about wanting such a simple-minded woman who wants to live her whole life through her man 
Because for me, when a girl is so simple-minded that she lacks depth and doesn't have passion for her own interests, I just find those girls mentally unstimulating and boring. Again, if you want, you can comment what you think below. Now let's hear Andrew's dating advice for women. I don't want to hear about the time you went on the holidays something. In fact, let's change this Tate speech. Let's change all of it. This is the first Tate speech aimed at women, for women. Chicks, I'm going to give you some advice. You want to get the man of your dreams? Women have basically no idea what men find attractive. You all live in a dream world because if women knew what men wanted to see and hear, you could have any man you wanted. I see chicks out here going, I can't get a good man. Then you're a dumbass because it ain't hard. Let's start with the basics. Stop dancing in clubs. You think it looks sexy, it ain't sexy. We don't want to see you twerking. We don't want to see you dancing. Men don't like those outlandish women. You being out there on the, on the dance floor in front of 5,000 men overconfident shaking your ass is not the kind of thing a man wants to see. We don't want to see that. The more confident you are in those scenarios, the least attracted we are to you. Now, I know you may be sitting there going, oh, but when I dance, guys like me. They want to bang you, cool, but they don't like you as a person. As a person, deep inside, they want the girl in the corner who says, I don't want to be dancing in front of all these men like that. So stop dancing, first. Two, no matter where you've been, or whatever amazing things you've done, or what expensive cars you've been in, etc., shut up. Because when you talk about those things, all you're really saying is, some other dude. When you sit there and talk about the time you went to Thailand for three months, and I was in Thailand, and the monkeys, and the elephants, and I was in Thailand, da, da. the man's sitting there listening to you, but all he's thinking is, what dude was in Thailand? Some dude, what, some, some Thai dude, or some foreign dude, or was she part of a sex ring, or was she like, like what was she doing? Like, she was talking about freedom, and finding herself, and finding her spirit. How naked was she? Like, was she naked all the time, like sex day and night? Like, we're sitting there analyzing, as you're telling your story about the time the monkey touched a banana, and we're just sitting there thinking, she is a ho Don't tell us, we don't wanna hear it. Don't hear it. Lie. You've never been nowhere. Never done nothing. Never been to Lambo. Never been to that club. Nothing. Three. We don't like those girls with, who know lots of people. Because if you know lots of people, it's probably because you've had a lot of dick. We don't want that. So don't be saying, oh yeah, my friend is the manager of this restaurant. Or I know a girl who has a, a her boyfriend has a house on the hill. That You don't know anyone. You don't dance. You ain't been nowhere. You ain't got no friends. You just stay home, you read the Bible. Even if it's all a lie. This is for you, chicks. This is, everyone says I'm a misogynist. I'm out here to help the women now. This is for you, to get the man of your dreams. He's probably lying to you anyway. So you can lie back, it's fine, lie. You don't know anybody. You don't know anyone important. You've never been to those parties. You ain't got no connections. You don't know anyone. Because when you talk about knowing lots of people, he's thinking about all the d you've taken. When you talk about going to lots of places, he's talking about all the d He's thinking about all the d you've taken. You talk about doing expensive things, expensive cars, etc. He is thinking about all the d you have taken and it is brutally unattractive. Women will sit there on a date and just talk about all these things, trying to prove their status. Yeah, I've been here, I know this guy, I've been in Lambos, da -da. and they think the guy is like, wow, she's, she's something. Wow, that's, that's wifey right there. F no. Men may tolerate it and pretend to give a shit and put up with it because you're hot, but we don't like it. Men want to be your portal to discover the world. If I sit with a chick, I wanna be the first one to take her to Greece. I wanna be the first man to put her on a jet. I wanna be the first man to drive her in a Lambo. I wanna be the first man to give her new experiences. I want to be her portal to the world. If she's told me that she's had 50 portals before me and stinks of then I'm not interested in anything more than a quick night bam. So any chick who sits there and goes, yeah, well, I spoke about all those things and the guy me. Well, of course, the guy will you no matter what you talk about. You could talk about having IBS and he'll still bang you but it ain't gonna make him attracted to you deep in your heart, in your soul. So this taste speech is kind of deflected. Since I've become super famous, girls are saying all the wrong things to me. And then I came along, because I don't want people to call me misogynistic, and now I'm helping women to do better. So this is now, I'm now a female dating coach. I've changed from the masculine side, I'm now on the woman's side. Women, shut the f up 